G'day in tonight's video, I'm gonna run through the two cages I've had for the Canon R5C, one being the tilter cage and the other being the small rig cage. Now I ended up choosing the tilter cage for a variety of reasons, but the main reason was it just feels sturdier and stronger and there's less flex in the body. So I've been using the tilter cage for ages now and it pretty much just stays on my camera. I love all the mounting points and they're really accessible. I don't really use the cable lock, but it's there if you need it. I pretty much don't use the top handle because it's either going on the gimbal or I'm using it for stills. So very rarely do I need to actually handhold my R5C. What I do love though is that tilter top handle is a beast and I use it on my C70 to kind of handle the monitor and the Hollyland transmitter. The only downside to the tilter one is I've never actually weighed it, but it definitely feels heavier than the small rig one. So if you really are looking to shed as many grams on your camera as possible, then the small rig is possibly a lighter version. So the next part of the video is just set to music and showing you through putting the R5C through both cages and you'll see the different accessories and I'll just show you through those.
reasons I actually bought both cages right at the start when I first got my R5C was that I couldn't actually find much detail on the cages themselves so I just kind of bit the bullet bought both and just kind of made the decision once I had them in my hand and tried the setup and kind of figured out what I actually like so obviously I lost a little bit of money when I resold the small rig version but it was a small price to pay for just being able to really know which one I actually wanted and, and liked so probably don't recommend that to everyone but it's sometimes it's just hard when you know products are new and have only just come out it's just not enough info or enough good visuals to really get a good grasp as to how you might use it and how things will feel in your hand so there you go i hope that helps someone out there if you're trying to decide between the two different cages for your r5c they also fit the r5 obviously basically like i said at the start the reason i chose the tilter is for my specific scenario and my setup i just liked the tilter better and i did feel that there was less flex in the frame in the cage versus the small rig but also yeah the small rig looks great and is lighter so for some people that's going to be a better option so i hope you have a great week of shooting out there and we'll catch you in the next one cheers